Good morning, everybody. Look at my hair today. What is going on? No, because I've, I know, no. Basically the other day, I washed my hair and didn't do my usual styling routine and did like a very minimal routine that this woman on Instagram was doing. And I was like, oh my God, that would save me so much time, but it didn't work. It didn't work, so. I'm just going to stick to my usual long styling routine because my hair was just not, not okay. She was frizzy. She wasn't defined. Um, I managed to like scrape it out like for a couple of days, but I think it's just going to have to just go for the slick back today, honestly. Also, my skin has just freaked out. I've been using the same stuff for ages and... I think suddenly the retinol in the product has just gone too far on my skin and I've been getting like almost sunburn like like not sunburn but like the effect of sunburn so like literal peeling skin on my face it's not been okay so I'm gonna stop using that um but today everybody today is a different one for me. Normally my YouTube videos are like, oh my god, I'm doing this amazing thing today, or I'm going to this amazing place today. But today's just a casual, chilled day in the life. Um, I am going to class. I'm going to base this morning and I'm doing George Lyons musical theatre class. Um, so that's at 11.30. It is currently 8.00. 26 and I need to leave at 10 so I've woke up a little bit early so I'm just gonna get ready have a catch up with you guys it was my birthday the other day so yeah I'm gonna fill you in on everything I got for my birthday what I did and also just a little chat about what the hell happened at the Olivier's and exciting things coming up so yeah stay tuned I've just smothered my face in moisturizer lord knows that is what it needs right now no, because how cute is this headband? I got it from Primark. It was only a few pounds, but it's been making me the happiest. So we're not mad about it. So tonight, guys, I'm going to see Newsies. I'm so, so excited. I have been waiting to see it because, because I've been working at Frozen. And obviously that is the same schedule as a lot of shows. So I haven't been able to see it. But tonight... I've managed to wangle the night off uh, by working a ton of other shifts, which isn't ideal, but I really needed to see it before the cast changes, which I believe is on Sunday. I've got my friend Lucy, who I did Bugsy with in it. She's the new onstage swing. And then I've got my friend Jordan, who I did Bring It On With in it. And then I've got George, who is doing Grease. He was actually my audition partner. And then Immy, who was my tumbling partner in the Olivier Awards. So yeah, a few of them that I really, really need to see before I start rehearsing for Grace and have no time. <laughs> this foundation is a little bit dark for my skin at present because I've never been more like Casper the Ghost at the moment. But I just blend. I've got class this morning and then Rue is like sticking around with me for a little while so I'm gonna be hanging around with them and then I'm gonna go and see newsies. Um, I'm sure we'll get up to something in between. A day out in London pretty much. So my birthday was last week and it was so lush. Luke basically planned the whole day. He surprised me with a brunch with Rue which was so nice. Um, and then I had to go and have a wig fitting for Greece. So that was really cool. I've never had a wig made from scratch for me before. So yeah, just feels really special. And she said, uh, our wig supervisor said that they're gonna make it blonde and curly. So they're gonna make it like my own hair, but in obviously the 50s style, um, which is so exciting because all the wigs that I've worn have like really changed my face and I've not looked like me. So to have one that is kind of similar to my hair is gonna be so nice. Yeah, stay tuned for that. I think in the first couple of weeks of rehearsals, we're gonna try them on and, and see kind of if they suit our faces and if there's anything that they need to change. I am feeling a bit under the weather actually. 
think I'm just run down. I've been working so many hours, it's just been a bit ridiculous. Um, anyway, continuing on my B-Day, we then went wine tasting at a place called Vagabond. Um, they're a chain, so you would have heard of them, I think. It was really good. I had a cheese board and we just were getting up and having samples of wine. Luke and I, it was, it was really, really nice. And then I saw the Super Mario film, which I absolutely adored. I thought it was going to be like overrated and it wasn't going to be as good as, you know, people were saying, but it was absolutely incredible. Like, I loved it. There were so many moments where they used the music from like the really, really old games, like Super Nintendo era. And it just made me feel so nostalgic and it was just brilliant. And all of the voice actors were actually really, really good. Loved it. And also it was kind of nice to have a backstory of these characters that we've we've loved and adored for so long. You know, have like uh, their family and like how they got into the world and like who's human and who's not. Like it, it was quite... Yeah, it was quite nice to just like get a bit of a background. I think when I play the games now, I'll probably be like playing them a bit different. I don't know if that's weird, but you know what I mean. So for my birthday, my main present from my mum and dad was a Kindle. This is it, they got me a case. It's amazing. I've had it for a week, no, well, a week and two days today. And I've gotten through three and a half books three and a half books. If you are a book uh, fan, I will tell you what they are. I really like a thriller. Thriller with a bit of romance, you've got me. Um, so I read The Housemaid and then The Housemaid's Secret, which is the, the second one by Frieda McFadden. And then now I'm reading The Things We Never Got Over, read that one, really good. And Things we Hide From The Light, which is also a series by Lucy Score, but they are both really, really, really good. If you're looking for a gripping read, then those two little series, book series are really good. So yeah, I got Kindle. Um, my main present from Luke, you can probably see it on my finger and know it's not an engagement ring. Um, it is so lovely. Um, you can't, this light isn't really doing it justice, but it's a promise ring. There was a lot of tears. I, yeah, it was a lot. Um, but yeah, he promised himself to me. So that was really lovely and thoughtful. At first, I thought he was going to propose to me. I was like, no, no. Because we're not ready for that, okay? Like, we are not financially stable. <laughs> we do not have a house like yeah we're just not set up to get married right now um so i'm glad he went for a promise ring because it's kind of the same thing right without saying oh, and yeah we got paid for a massive wedding and all that jazz that was a very 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 happy day for me he also got me a new phone case which i can't show because today i'm filming on my phone because i was a dummy and forgot to charge my camera a new marie phone case very much like this just on the back of my phone he got me a nice pillow with some nice words on it oh and he got me a vegetable chopper like have you seen the vegetable choppers that are like online i've wanted one for ages and i haven't stopped going on about it and he got me one and it doesn't work i put like half an onion on it and it just wouldn't go down. Like, you know how they make it look like, boo, 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 like a seamless, no, no. I was having to, and I mean like seriously, whack it and it still wasn't cutting. So yeah, sad about that one, but you win some, you lose some. Okay, so plan for the next few weeks um, and then I'm gonna shut up talking and try and get out the house. Um, so I have, one week left working front of house at Frozen. It's actually been so nice because I've met a load of you guys. Like a load of you have like come up to me and been like, hi, I watch your YouTube or I watched your TikTok on, or I saw you in this show, I saw you in that show. Like, can we have a picture? And I, I absolutely love it. Like, I'm like in awe. Like, I actually can't believe that you're a real life human telling me that you knew, know who I am and that you recognize me. It literally makes me feel like, I don't know, like an imposter, but 
it gives me such a boost, especially when I'm at work, working a front of house job. Yeah, it just make, it puts a smile on my face for the rest of the day. Honestly, it does. So if you do ever see me, please, please come and say hello. Um, I know a lot of you are London based um, and we'll probably see each other around at some point. So yeah, please do come and say hello. So anyway, we digress. Uh, one week left working at Frozen and then I have a week off. I'm going home to see my family. My family are from Wolverhampton. Um, so that is about a two and a half hour drive from here. And I'm getting my hair dyed for the first time in six months. I mean, it doesn't even look that bad. It's just like the roots are so grown out. You can't see with this big old headband on. But but yeah, we have quite a lot of growth there. Uh. Um, but yeah, I just get highlights. So yeah, I'm getting that done. I'm gonna see my nieces and my nephew for the first time since like Christmas. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, and then we start grease rehearsals and I'll be full on in the swing of creating content again, back to my theatrical self, um, which I absolutely cannot wait for. I can't believe that it's actually happening. Feels like the Olivier's was just a bit of a dream, and then, and then we we moved forward without anything. So it seemed like, oh, you're not doing it anymore. <laughs> but I definitely am. Yeah, we go into rehearsals on, I think it's the third of May. So that is super duper exciting. I'm gonna get changed, slick my hair back and then I'll be back and we'll get out this house. So I got this new top the other day, which is from Gilly Hicks. Um, I had a black one, but then I lost it. So I brought the black one again and this pink one, which I just think is so cute. I love it. I have spilt something down it though, here. I don't know. Oh. Does anybody else just use my cellar water for anything? and assume that any marks are makeup and that it'll come off. I'm just gonna leave that there. <laughs> I don't know whether I need to slick my hair back. It has calmed down now. Do you see what I mean? Like the top has just like lost its shape. Um, hmm. So apparently the class today is a bit of a salsa moment. Um, so I'm gonna take my new Maducas and have a fabulous time. This is normally the vibe that I go for, where it kind of looks like my hair is just really, really long. I'm going to just take out the sides so it looks more real. Yeah, and I go for that. <laughs> okay, let's get ready to go. Hello, I'm back. I've still got a little while till I need to leave. Um, but I just wanted to show you this, that my sister got me for my birthday. It's so cute. I think it's from Amazon. Um, and I've got all of my stuff for the day now, I'll show you. So in my bag, I like to keep a bag like this with spare makeup, uh, obviously sanitary products, tissues, deodorant, portable charger, ibuprofen, um, yeah, just bits like that so that they're not just hanging around in my bag and it just makes it so much neater and I can see everything in my bag. Oh my goodness, I'm finally out the house a minute late. How did that happen? I don't even know. Well, I'll tell you how it happened. I was filming a TikTok. Uh, you've probably seen it by now if you do follow my TikTok. Um, but basically, I was just talking about actors' pay and how it's just ridiculous, honestly. Um, basically, if you know me, you'll know that I have wanted my own place, my own property since I can remember. Like my dream is to just have a home and dogs and children running around. Like it's just what I want. And I know that's a very stereotypical, like patriarchy sort of abiding view, I guess, but it's just what I want. And I feel like that's what I'm made for. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, I just want my own place. And I spoke to a mortgage advisor the other day and they said, hey, if you want to be given a mortgage by yourself, you can't be doing this career. So <laughs> they were saying, is there any sort of promotions that you can get? I was like, no, no, there isn't. I am literally at the top of my game. God help me. <laughs> um, and if it was a promotion, like something like dance captain, I still would only get an extra 60 quid a week. So like, 
what? Um, so anyway, yeah, they just told me that it's impossible and uh, a TikTok girly friend, Hannah Lather, posted a video talking about actors pay and what we actually get. And yeah, it just inspired me to come forward and talk about my experience with the mortgage advisor. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was just filming that and then realized it was time to go. So I've grabbed my bag with my change of clothes for later and I'm on my way. Hello everyone. I have been the world's worst vlogger today. Like the worst. It is now probably like six o'clock. <laughs> Um, I did class George Lyons Musical Theatre. I'll insert the footage now. And then we all went for coffee and then me and Rue were just having a massive catch up about life, about auditions that Rue is in for. Oh God, there's a busy road. Yeah, I just wanted to enjoy that moment and be present, but I'm back because I'm on my own. Um, I have just got to Wembley. I've got a bit of time to kill. I'm gonna see if there's a coffee shop or something um, nearby here. And then I'm gonna go in to see Newsies. <laughs> I'm so excited, what the hell. Hello, it's very loud in here and I'm probably gonna get copyrighted so I'll be really quick. I am in Box Park and the vibes are immaculate in here. I just got some sushi and a Coke Zero and I'm just gonna wait in here. I've just come out of Box Park. It was so cool in there. It would be so good to go in there with a group of friends or something of an evening, have a few drinks, have some good food. Everybody can have whatever they want. There's tons of different like street foodie bits. Um, and yeah, it, it was just really great in there. Not so great for me to read my book, but, <laughs> but it was good. The sushi, not so great but it filled me up and and yeah now i'm off to new Zealand. i'm excited it's about 10 to 7 shows at half past and i just can't wait to see all my friends be fabulous i can't remember whether i've already said but the olivier performance when i was watching it there live i was literally screaming screaming because i was just like this is why the arts are valid it's a valid career and like I was just like getting so emotional like these guys they're just amazing it's the dance show in town right now and that just makes me very proud that my my friends are a part of it <laughs> right I'm gonna go in here it is so exciting I just got myself a little wine <laughs> little tiny wine and a program I'm so excited to have a look through Ooh. <laughs> This is so cool. Oh my God. I've not seen any of this on social media. What a way to make an entrance through the dirty laundry. <laughs> it is very cool in here. I think there were cheaper tickets at the side here and that looks like it's much closer, but obviously it is a side view and some of them at the very back were restricted view. But um, yeah, I've got a pretty good view anyway. That was actually incredible. What the hell? I'm just waiting out front to meet everyone. Oh, best dance show I've ever seen, hands down. The evening has finished with pouring rain. Thank God I've got my umbrella. Also would have been absolutely soaked. My big duffel bag is soaked through. Uh, so that's good. I, th I hope everything's dry inside. I think it's a bit waterproof, but I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm just trotting back to the tube station and then I'm gonna go home but I had a bloody lovely day I'm so sorry that I've been a bit crap and I'm so sorry about this lighting right now um but yeah that's kind of a, a day in my life I guess when I'm not at work which isn't often but I try to do something theatrical uh, to keep me going um but yeah my next vlog will probably be first week of rehearsals for Green. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so much and uh, see you in the next one.